Hi, this is Norman Koshnick for Extra Time here at the Sydney Cricket Ground after day five, the final day of the test match between India and Australia, the Border Gavaskar Trophy. Amazing, this test match has actually been so significant that it's actually lasted five days. An epic battle, a gripping match even today in the last throws of the day, and it turned out to be a fantastic result for India, a draw. Considering where India were at, at certain stages of the previous two days, they've come out with a draw in magnificent form. In fact, they were particularly strong despite so many asset facets of the game that have gone wrong. No Virat Kohli, no Shami, no Ishan Sharma, no, no Umesh Yadav, no Rohan Sh Rohit Sharma prior to the match. Of course, Jadeja had his injury with his broken or dislocated thumb that, on his bowling hand. Rishabh Pant had a ba badly damaged elbow, but he went on batting and batted particularly well. And Vihari, even today towards the end, had an injured hamstring. But despite all of these injuries, the walking wounded of India have actually done a fantastic job and have basically pr pulled out a Herculean effort to be, in fact, in a position where they could draw the match. And not losing a wicket in the last session of play on a fifth day is quite extraordinary. And it's quite remarkable indeed that that's actually happened. India started today well, actually resumed at 2 for 98 with Rahani on 4 and Pujara on 9. Rahani got out unfortunately early after some 10 balls of the innings, was caught by Wade off the bowling line for 4 and the score was 3 for 102 at that point. But they, that particular score line of 3 wickets down then stayed till lunchtime with the likes of both Punt and, and Pujara batting extremely well. In fact, Punt was amazing. He looked in great nick. He took on the Australian bowling with great fervour and they actually went to lunch at 3 for 206. A very strong position indeed for India. And they were actually, Punt was not at 73 and Pujara not at 41 in a fantastic partnership that actually grew to lunch and went beyond lunch. They continued to bat beyond lunch from that 3 for 206 scoreline to reach the score of 250. So that was a magnificent 148 run partnership that actually went, went about. Punt hitting sixes at will it seemed, looked, looked destined for a century. Unfortunately on 97 he played a ball of line uppishly towards backward point gully and in fact was out for 97. He was caught by the Cummins bowl line for 97. Very very disturbing moment in fact Punt was so in such great form. If he had continued to bat who knows what would have happened in this match. Then Pajara was joined by Vahari and they batted quite resolutely and that saw Pajara reach 77 and unfortunately he was then bowled by an absolute jaffa by Hazelwood for 77 and the score then went on to be 5 for 272 after 88.2 overs at T with Vahari and um, the likes of he partnered Ashwin at that point and they were together at 5 down in fact Jadeja was in the sheds padded up to bat he was there in case he needed with his broken slash dislocated thumb of his bowling hand but in fact did they need any more than Ashwin and Vihari? Both of them batted amazingly and they went from that 5 for 280 score to, to a T onto a situation where they were able to go into a situation where they only had 15 overs left and they were still had not lost a wicket and they were 5 for 305. Ashwin was on 28 and Vihari was on 7. This then became the longest Indian batting performance that they've actually, actually batted in the fourth innings of a test match outside of Asia since 1979. So that's a very good 41 years outside of Australia, outside of India, I should say, out of this Asian area. They were able to actually perform that well and batter that well into a fifth day and last since 1979. Quite incredible. So no, no wickets fell in the last session. The end of the day with a draw at 5 for 334 with Vihari 23 of some 161 balls and a damaged hamstring which he didn't need to run too much towards the end so that was okay. Ashwin was on 39 of 128 balls. Both of them batted magnificently very much resolutely and determined to finish despite all the heckling and the usual banter that went on between the two teams in that last session including of course when Rishabh Pant batted earlier on a tee session and Steve Smith decided to uh, muck up the crease marks for him before he went back to bat. Anyway, that's unfortunate. That particular partnership, they, they then they made a 50 partnership of some 247 deliveries, and they ended up with a 62 run partnership of some 259 balls to end the day on five for 334. Quite incredibly, they did not lose a wicket in that last session, as I said. Lion bowled particularly well, I thought he took two wickets. Hazelwood took his routine two wickets. Cummins took one. Stark was actually, the Indian bowls were quite 
something the ambassador were quite able to handle a barrage of short deliveries from the Australians. They thought that would be a tactic and it actually didn't work. The short balls did not work at all and Stark ultimately didn't get a wicket himself when he bowled. And Green is still wicketless in the series, but he batted particularly well on, the, on day four. So that's the, that's, there we have it, Australia and India have actually had a draw. They've still won all in the Border Grasker series with a decider in Brisbane coming up on the 15th. Not long away at all. This is Norman Kochnik for Extra Time. Please view, like and share the posts and actually go about subscribing. And don't forget to actually provide comments and feedback so I can be able to interact with you. This is Norman Kochnik here for Extra Time.